science facts Just repeat to yourself, it's just a show I should really just relax Oh, Mystery Science Theater 3000 Hi everyone, welcome to the Satellite of Love. Hi. Just to bring you up to date, we recently escaped along with Pearl Forrester and her companions from ancient Rome, which, by the way, Bobo burned down. <laughs> and uh, then we went back through the wormhole and now here we are. Who knows? We're just knocking about in time and space. Uh, say, Mike, just for the sake of discussion, um, what would be another way you could put that last part there? Oh, we're wandering in space, uh, we don't know where we are in space, or, or what? In space. I don't know, uh, adrift, huh? cast off, uh -huh. uh, unmoored, uh, locationless, uh, lots of ways you could put it. Uh, lost, maybe? Sure, lost in space. Woohoo, it's on, Crow! Oh, you galloping garbage bag of galligitous clop! You pusillanimous pig skin of puffery! Morning! You toe-headed tad polished tit mouse! Angel Will Robinson! You terrestrial to mescent tenafore! You iridescent tight conic idiotic imp! You, 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 you quibbly quivering ad... You, uh, you iridescent... Oh, no, you just said that one. Oh, right, right, right. You dichotomous sad... Drum majorette! To you, you, you suck! Hey! Oh, I'm morning. sorry, Mike. I, I got morning. frustrated. Yeah, we'll be right back. Morning. You guys, what? Hey, sorry. Whoa. Tell me I suck. Go ahead. No, you don't suck. I mean, it's just kind of early. You tell me I suck. Boy, you know, I am really you sorry. You can understand my reaction. Sure, sure. sure. You guys, you know what? Uh, Pearl asked us to pull this over so we could find out where we are, and I'm trying to do a really tricky docking maneuver, so why don't you go watch a video with Gypsy, huh? Oh, a video? Uh, Free Willy, Mondo Connie. There Mondo Connie, cool! Off you go. Yeah, okay. All right, here we go. Now, this is the hard part. Just ease it into place gently. Dock with the other ship. It's perfect. I'll go check it out. Nelson? Mike? Is that you? Come on over here, neighbor. Ah, uh, you sure it's not too late? Ah, uh, I'll be up another couple of hours or so. Uh, well, Come on over, I just put a fresh pot of coffee on. Just float on over here, Pearl. Oh, shh, 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 hang on. I just put Bobo down and sometimes he's a little fussy. Oh, sure, yeah. yeah. Ooh, boy. She's a cold one tonight. Yeah, huh? supposed to get down to absolute zero. That's why I always wear a sweater. Yeah. So, Pearl, how come you're so evil? Hmm. I'm filled with hate. I don't know if that helps. Yeah, it does, yeah. You know, Mike, people can be awfully judgmental about evil. Mike! Mike! You know, we were watching TV, and we had it on something we all liked, and then Servo changed the channel. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, if you're real quiet, you can stay here with Pearl and me, okay? okay. Hey, Art. Hi. Well, I suppose I better be sending you guys your movie, huh? <laughs> oh, see, that's another thing. You said you weren't gonna send us any more movies. You know, sometimes I think I lie because I'm evil. Oh. So... You are gonna send us a movie, though, huh? Yeah, <laughs> and it's pretty bad. I hope that's okay. Ah, it's all right. It was made in Vermont, and it's about this guy who travels through time, and then he has to go back in time to change what he did in the future. It's it's called Time Chasers. Oh, it's got that guy in it. Oh, and that mm. other guy too. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I, I think suppose. we're gonna get back there. Why don't yep. you take off? Well, today, buddy? Well. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, yep. Oh. Art, you take care, kid. Bye. Oh, hey, Mike. 
Yeah. I despise you and all you stand for, and you'll never escape. <laughs> <laughs> you know the rest. Yeah, I sure do. Good night, Pearl. <sighs> He's a good kid. Uh -uh. No way. Come on, Servo. No. Turn it back to Dr. Jane Seymour Medicine Queen. No, no way. Forget you. <laughs> what? Hey, where were you guys? Hey, did Crow get to go over to Pearl's? That's not fair. Pearl gave me lots of candy and popcorn and no, said that man. I could stay there anytime. You and she was going to take me to France and she yeah. liked me best. Yeah. And then oh, I could play dress and wear her clothes whenever Lucky I wanted. Duck, man. Hello, I'm Fido Hitchcock, the director of this film. He's got a bucket of crotch-flavored popcorn. <laughs> oh, for the, oh, it's so early, too. <laughs> Redwood Entertainment Limited presents... Right. Okay, stop. Cut it out. Okay. <laughs> We're supposed to be happy about this? A David G. and Cola film is not something you'd want to see. No. All of a scotch with a time chaser. This is like NFL graphics here. But it up, but it up, but it up, ba ba. Hey, is this that subliminal advertising you hear about? I don't know, but suddenly I'm hungry for a guy with glasses. Anyone else? Guy with glasses? Nick Miller, you are a genius. A crop dusting genius. Got it, Lord. <laughs> well, cut the lawn way too short. He's down to the bedrock. I'm just gonna hand him off some Gatorade. Got some leftover Miami Vice music here. Plane looks like it can't think of anything to say. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, wait a minute. This isn't our star, is it? I will not accept this as our star. Sorry. <laughs> Take it the fuel intake I put in worked good. Oh, it was it, it was it was fine, it was great, it was outstanding. <laughs> hey, Marty, you wanna do me a favor? Yo. Tell me to stop acting like Richard Dreyfus. Could you uh can you fuel that up and uh put it back in the hangar for me? Oh, Marty! Yeah. Uh, I've uh I've got something for your collection. You're rather gallstone, thanks. 2041? Co-starring Bruce Springsteen's little brother, Wayne. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on, this can't be the hero of the film. He has a geeky 10 speed. Yeah, he should at least have a cool burnt orange stingray. Yeah. Come on down for parallel parking days. <laughs> no, 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 this can't be the star, can it? Movie, movie, hey movie, can I see your supervisor movie? This will not stand. Oh! Huh. Now maybe he's going into the house to meet the real hero of the film. Maybe. Okay. Next, we're going to see the real hero of the film. Coming up. Down! Jeez. <laughs> Just a floppy disk for breakfast, honey? You've got mail. Pattern baldness. <laughs> <laughs> Flying toasters are pretty. <laughs> The X-Files goes to Dublin. Big Oz, reclining loser. <laughs> what can I get you? Nothing. Oh, what a crock. Damn, I thought Night Court was on. Hmm? At GenCore, we believe that listening to people <laughs> is the winning approach. <laughs> listening breeds new ideas, and new ideas breed innovation. Innovation is this country's greatest natural resource, its most powerful defense weapon. Stop splaying! Or we champion innovators. Because of them, double hull tankers are here and oil spills are a memory. A good memory. Gencor now sets worldwide standards in aviation worldwide safety. Standard. All because of innovators. Gencor innovators. We really can't afford to live without them. And neither can you. A division of plasma, I'm part of ConMed Tech Town. New technology development. No, no. Marv, hey, it's me and I'm nude. Yes, hello. I've just completed work on an amazingly efficient fuel intake for small engine planes. Oh. It's a radical design and uses 30% less fuel. 
I noticed you have a plan here in town, and I was wondering if you might come over and take a look. Uh, this is Pizza Hut, sir. Rockin'. Sure. Sure, I'm an unappealing actor in a bad movie. Sure. Yes, hello. I think I've got a neat local story for you. You see, my grandmother is turning 75 tomorrow, and she's going to try skydiving for the very first time. It's not going to go too well, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Sorry I killed you, Gary. Nothing personal. The modern bachelor lifestyle. Flying to work or play. And a phalanx of reporters come swooping down. Well, someone from the home shopper pulls up in a K car. Oh, two different plaids? Man, I'm a naked robot, and even I know that's a fashion no-no. Oh, yeah. oh, no. It's plane protection services. They know I kissed my plane. Sir? Eh? How are you? <laughs> I'm great. It's good to see you. It's been what, since the reunion? Yeah. Wow. You still in the city? Actually, I live here now. Okay. What, uh, what happened? I became Tony Tennille. Oh, nothing, really. I, uh, you still teaching? Oh, yeah, yeah. Up the college, physics. We're, uh, we're out for the summer, though. <laughs> so, uh, so what brings you here? I'm here about a skydiving grandmother. <laughs> you work for the banner. Yeah, that's my job here. Pretty lame, huh? Nick, is she your grandmother? Well, sort of, yeah. What do you mean? Uh... Oh, there's Grandma now. I'll introduce you. Excuse me. I'll tell you in a minute. Be right back. Hi. Hi, I'm Nick Miller. Mm, nice plane, but it needs more plaid. Yeah. That's right. Thanks for coming out. That's quite all right. Love, love will keep us together. Mm -hmm. He has a computer. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty radical. Well, where the devil did you develop the <laughs> Nick, I've been working I just time. realized your grandmother died when we were kids. Uh, Lisa, I'd like you to meet Matthew Paul. He's with GenCorp Aviation. Nice to meet you. This is Lisa Henson. Uh, She's with our local newspaper. Mm -hmm. I'd like to get a look at this intake if I could. Well, what I'd like to do is give you both a quick demonstration first. So if you'll jump right in, we'll be on our way. All right. Nick, there's no grandmother? No, I lied about that. Uh, but don't worry. There is a story here. So, Mike, no skydiving grandma, huh? Man, they lead you up to something great, and then they just shoot it down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stupid grandma leaver outers. Uh, see, see, there could be dozens of grandmas jumping out of planes right now. Very entertaining, very informative. Rip off. Okay. Now, the real reason I brought you both up here today... To crash. You see, I... <laughs> talk to others and no one believed me so i decided to lie a little bit to at least get someone to come see this what are you talking about oh no well you see this plane well this stuff um uh, enables who's ever inside it to uh get a film career that quickly dies to so. travel through time time you mean this isn't about a fuel efficient intake things never change do they nick oh no, no this time they do you brought us up here this morning to look at your hinder time machine <laughs> that's time transport yeah Look, do you think you could land this plane? I mean, I really don't have time for this nonsense. Time, get it? Schedule today. <laughs> Flat, Mr. Kitty, right? Hey, look, I know you both think I'm full of it, but you won't in a minute. Now, go ahead and pick a date and time, past or future, whatever. Now. You're serious? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> what the hell, Nick? Take us 50 years into the future. Okay. Anyway, yada, yada, yada. the computer signals the molecule accelerators, yeah. right. which in turn charge the skin of the plane, yeah, enabling whoever yeah, inside okay. the skin of the plane yeah, we're with to travel you. through mm -hmm. the passage Do of time. Something. Now, the longer Fine. it's charged, Fine. the farther into the future you go. And of course, I can reverse the polarity and go back in time as well. That's got my it? butt. You've got to be kidding. Okay, now, let's see, 50 years. Uh, September mm -hmm. 24th, 2041 at 1230 Enter. If man is still alive. Need reality check here. Come, listen to me. Uh, Lisa? What? Hold on. Look, guys, the transport countdown on the computer. <laughs> oh, I forgot to ask. Uh, neither of you have heart valves, do you? Oh, and did either of you eat breakfast this morning? Oh, you did, huh? Oh, boy. Oh, I'm spent. God. What did you do? How's this for a reality check? <gasps> We're in Dar es Salaam. Future means cheesy graphics. Yeah, okay. All right. The um, future. Ah. 
turn the polymers tomorrow? Oh, no, I get another call. I'll call you back. So in the future, kids become gay agents? <laughs> so 50 years from now, it'll be three years from now. Lisa Kudrow. It's her. <laughs> Made completely of animal feces. Hey, come on. Yeah, but... You see, in the future, men wear long leather coats, and there are junior colleges right here, see? Hey, look, a lesbian of the future. <laughs> Food courts of the future. I don't believe this. It's like a dream. This is 2041. This is 2041. Nick, you did it. You are a genius. <laughs> You've been working on this all your life. Yeah. Sad, so, really. In effect, you could use this thing to change history. Oh, yeah, we could prevent Newt Gingrich, Jim Carrey, and the Smashing Pumpkins. <laughs> That's not why I brought you here. I want you to buy me an Orange Julius. Honestly, I'm out of money, and I need more so I can continue my work now that I've made this breakthrough. So what can GenCorp do for you? I need an R&D grant. I want to be able to continue my work. This is big. Big and pink. This is very big. What's the use of a time machine for GenCorp? I'll give you an example. You um, could send an egg into the future. You could study the long-term <laughs> effects that we're having on our environment. We could, uh... We could send Bob Saget to meet Charlemagne. We could figure out a way to stop shooting at each other. You know, if you went back a hundred years in the past and put a hundred dollars in the bank and then came back a hundred years to the present, God, the interest alone would make you a millionaire. Yeah, well... I'm going over to Sparrow. Anyway, these ideas are just the, just the tip of the iceberg. Listen, Nick, I'm going to go over the heads of my bosses here and take this directly to J.K. Robertson. The CEO of Gen Corp? The, the, uh, the guy that does the, the TV commercial. That's the one. Look, I will drive him up here from the city personally if I have to. That would be great. All right. It's a Radisson. I take it we're ready to go. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'll ever be ready. I'll bring you back on a tour sometime. I like that. Oh, man, here we go. <laughs> I got to get a call into Robertson. I'll walk back to the past. And they fly through another spirograph drawing. <laughs> I left my keys at the Manchu Walk of the future. Here they come. Who's got the rice? No. <sighs> oh. Hi, I'm Bob Evil. <laughs> Everyone, this is an auspicious day in the history of the world. Yup. Today we have entered the fourth dimension. Sure did. We're about to be the only ones with the key. Yup, 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 yup. Nick. Hug me. I'll have a car pick you up in the morning to take you to my headquarters in the city. Dress real pretty. Miss Henson, you're part of this project and I want you working for GenCorp. I need someone to document and work on promotion of the transport. Mr. Robertson, I currently have a job at the Banner. Then it's time for you to make a career decision. Mm -hmm. I'm offering you a large salary and an opportunity to report on something very important. I think you understand how the transport will change life as we know it. No thanks. We have free coffee. You're turning me down. I'm not interested in working for GenCorp. I understand. You think you got yourself a scoop here, you probably think it'll go national and make yourself quite a name. Yes, ma'am. That's possible. No, it isn't. No, ma'am. I don't think I have to tell you how important this is. This has to be kept under total secrecy until we understand what we're dealing with. If this fell into the wrong hands, it might... Ooh. Who said you were the right hands? You know what I'm talking about. Even more than you do. Uh, look, Lisa... Nick, these guys are going to bury you with their corporate crap. Uh, take the job. They have to keep this under wraps. I understand that. I'm greedy and stupid. No, thanks. Why are you throwing this away? Why are you... We don't brook back sass from our fillies, Nick. I have to expect this sort of thing, Nick. <laughs> People want as big a piece as they can get. Yep. Now, I'm going to leave a couple of men here to watch the hangar until we can set up a full facility here. You think that's necessary? Absolutely, but it's just a precaution. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> and, Nick, I must also ask you not to discuss this with anyone from now on. Besides the fact that my company oh. is besieged with corporate spies, the transport is a national mm. security risk. And, well, all new technology is at first. Well, yeah. Am I making myself clear on this? Do you understand? Yeah, yeah. You're evil and that's okay. No one would believe me anyway. <laughs> you know you're right. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Let's go, boys. Let's go, director's college buds who brought their own suits to the shoot. Uh, Leonard Jacobson, I want you two to stay here until a deployment arrives. <laughs> and Matt, you are now VP. I want to see you in an office on my floor first of the week. Yes, sir. In a more dignified suit. Hmm. Really more of a prom limo, isn't yeah. it? Search celebrities, nude Cameron Diaz. I wonder if I should have held out for more than sixty-five dollars. 
He's looking for the names of other girls who talked to him in high school, and nothing's coming up. <laughs> wow. We're not wasting any time. Did somebody tape a dinner roll to his chin? Or... At this point, I'm getting pretty tired of watching the security video of his bachelor life. Loser status confirmed. Come to Martin's. What up? Some fruit, and I suppose I better buy toilet paper. Girl's coming over later. Who am I trying to kid? I never went to Castleton. Mrs. Hines, how are you? How's your ketchup empire? I was like, look at you. Look how thin you are. <laughs> I told your mother you're going to catch me thin. That's because I haven't had any of your good home cooking in but a while. You can always come to my house, <laughs> but you never do. Because I'm frightened of you. I'm not getting any younger anymore either, and it's your fault. You work too hard. Sometimes. You're such a nice, young, handsome man. You need a young lady to help you out. Whoa. Would you excuse me for just a All right, all right. I'm, I'm going, but you be good. See you at community theater practice. Ah, uh, the haunting bakery theme. The uh, sample lady's got pizza in aisle five. I'd like to double bag you. <laughs> oh, great. I was, I was going to call you. Hi. Sorry about last week. That's okay. It's the reporter in me. I wasn't trying to blow your deal. Oh, you didn't. You signed? You signed the next day. You hide the mic in the broccoli? So, uh, you cooking dinner? Are you offering dinner? No, I'm saying make me dinner. <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. Well, what should we get? Nothing. Here. Nothing. I've got a better idea. Let's eat a bicycle. That's a better idea. They're listening to the light jazz station. <laughs> I learned the truth at 17 that love was made for beauty queens. It's yeah. the perfect chance to help Mike. You Mike. see, you go back into his past, right convince right. him to take a new direction in his life, yeah. and then time changes so that Mike never becomes trapped on the satellite at all. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but what, what if things go wrong? Well, there's a small chance we'll warp ourselves and the rest of the universe out of existence. Cool! Yeah. <laughs> Accessing 1985 okay, now. Okay. Let's see, central Wisconsin. Right. Homing in on Mike. Wow! Oh, man, what a loser! Oh, boy, <laughs> Look at him. He's working at a cheese factory. He's going absolutely nowhere. <laughs> Great Scott. Oh, he's a Journey fan. We, we have to help him. I'm coming, Mike. Okay, Crow, remember, try not to be conspicuous. Blend in. Mike Nelson to the lunchroom. There's a robot from the future waiting for you. So much for blending in. Huh? Oh, hello. Dude. Mm. Oh. Hey, man. Dude. Can we make this quick? It's coming out of my break time. Uh, yes. Greetings, young Mike. Um, my name is Crow, and I've come from the future to help you change your miserable dead-end life. Jeez, nobody said anything about that. How does that work? Dude. Uh, 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 Mike, you are about to embark on an endless, worthless string of temp jobs. Hey, man, temping's great. You know, it's flexible hours. You can sleep in. You can ditch whenever you want. Well, actually, that sounds pretty good. Uh, do you get bennies with that? Blue Cross. Wow, that sounds cool. Uh, how do I... Now, then what am I saying? Mike, I have seen your grim future. If you don't change your life, Eventually, you'll be shot up into space and forced to watch terrible movies. <laughs> shot up into space, did you hear that, man? Dude. That'd be outrageous. It'd be like Space 1999 no, or something. Now listen to me, you simp! I, I, I mean, <laughs> what about your dreams, your, your hopes? A hollow, desperate eternity in space? That's no future for you. Yeah, but it beats getting burned by the cryovac machine. Dude. <sighs> exactly when in the future will you become not stupid, Mike? Uh, uh, Crow, this is Tom. Maybe you should just kill him or something. I don't know. Hey, who's that? Um, that's, uh, God. Whoa, dude. Crow, wrap it up. Hey, it's almost commercial sign. I'm coming! Okay, Micah, I'll be back in just a second. Uh, eat your lunch or something, and don't take any temp jobs while I'm gone, okay? Boy. Robot from the future. Dude. Well, I'm lost in love, so and I don't know much. 
When you get caught between the moon and New York City Every night I'm lying in bed <laughs> Holding you close to my dream Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, we rented three vintage cars, and damn it, we're going to use them. Ah, the 50s, when everyone walked around saying, hey, all the time. <laughs> Say, can I get Sky Miles if I put this on my Visa Gold? The 50s, huh? <laughs> yeah, there's Miss Khrushchev sweeping the sidewalk. We're both going to get poodle skirts right away. <laughs> Now for some good old-fashioned 50s heavy petting. Shouldn't he be, like, piloting the plane? Nick, what is that? That means I like you. What is it? I, uh, I, I don't know. Where are we? Well, it says September 25th, 2041. But we were here. It doesn't look like that. My God. There's something very wrong here. There's no food courts. Looks like there was a war. You'll have to take my word for it. We can't afford to show it. I brought diagnostic on the computer. Everything is fine. <laughs> Dilithium crystals are fine and uh, this everything is else. Something's happened. The future's been changed. We gotta find out what happened. Did you bring your ray gun? Well, no. Mommy and I. Whoa. So for some reason, Vermont became the epicenter of the dystopia. Ben and Jerry's was the key to the Armageddon. <laughs> the future still has Mason Reese. <gasps> Ah, see, they opened a Walmart across the street just a week before, and this is the result. Hey, Servo, the future looks like your room. <laughs> hey, if we find an old couch, I could really use it. After the apocalypse, things were really fairly untidy. Mm -hmm. So, apparently they didn't reduce the capital gains tax after all. Oh, Shame, really. Still, guys tape up posters for their bands. The city is totally destroyed. Yeah. It looks like it's been this way for a while. There's got to be someone around still somewhere. <gasps> Chimney sweeps took over the future. Ah, uh, I'm Nick. And this is... Honey. This is Lisa. Permission. Lisa? Easy. Easy. Look, we're not from this time. Oh, boy. From the past. Travelers, huh? We just... Hmm? Yeah. Yeah, you know about time travel? Where's your transport? What? Tell us what's happened here, please. Tell me where you're going for. The death of Anthony Michael Hall. Wow, people are opening a lot of beers up mm -hmm. there. Ah. So it's an armed Levi's ad. In the future, people will rub themselves with old oil filters. Ah, so Drew Carey's nemesis Mimi survives the apocalypse. You're gonna give me all your soil and green, man. <laughs> oh, now you see, I hire the guy who works in your dad's print shop as an actor, and this is what you get. <laughs> We're taking you to see the Grand High Dirt Bag now. Well, welcome to Teaberry Walk. It's part of our riverfront revitalization project. Nick? Yeah. Tell anyone else about the transport. Right. I don't think their date's going that well. Well, you know, on the other hand, this is always going to be their own little apocalypse. Right? Uh -huh. hmm? What's the travelers, Richter? Hmm? Sorry, Mick, you ain't getting them. You shoot, I'll waste them. <laughs> huh? That's a dangerous game. Oh, that guy got shot. How could they do that? He was great. All the best characters dying. Jeez. The danger of going with men you meet at the grocery store clearly illustrated right here. The L.L. Bean gang. Arr, 16 men on a dead Dodge Dart. <laughs> hey, they found safe haven in Jennifer Beale's Flashdance apartment. What a feeling, huh? Sherry, action realtor. Boy, I hope they end up together. At the bottom of a well torn apart by animals. Your butt looks good in the future. Hey, quiet. Big boys don't cry.
Is this ironweed all of a sudden? Who are they? Uh, found them in the sector. They're travelers. Travelers? Do you still have your transport? Uh, no. Stolen. By elves. Yeah. How did you know that we were Because you ain't from around here. Nobody from around here looks like you for long. Where's your filth? Stolen, huh? Damn. Did you find water? No. Made some, though. But I found this. Now, you know, that guy could use chinderwear. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Thanks for leaving me with the bums. Nick? This is all my fault. Exactly. I couldn't have known what would happen. I never should have let anyone know about the transport until I had a chance to test it more. You didn't invent the transport to destroy. We were here before and everything was fine. The future wasn't affected. But what about my hockey hair? Robertson. It was Robertson. The last time I was here was when I gave the demo of the transport to Robertson. But everything was fine then. Yeah, but it must have been after that that he decided to use the transport to be a weapon. So I'm blameless. What do we do? Well, we've got to get to Robertson. We've got to make him change his mind. If that doesn't work, I'll pull the project from Jane Corbin. What are you doing out here? You'll be seen. We were just leaving. Where are you going? We're going to try and change things. Yeah, right. Can you change the fact that I have crunchy pants? <laughs> Everybody wants to change his. Me, I just want to find a little beefaroni at the bottom of a can. I'd start by finding the guy who invented the time transport and cut his throat. Michael Moore in 30 years. <laughs> yes, an exciting career in aviation awaits you at Time Chasers Community College. Hey, Tom Bosley's their valet. Put this in the hangar, will you? I cancel all testing today. Tell everyone. Robertson has military backing. He knows the big generals. He's not going to blow out the biggest deal of his career very easily. Then we'll take him to the future if we have to. He'll have to agree with us after he sees that. Nick, my boy, how are you? <laughs> okay. We need to meet immediately. What's wrong? I have a serious problem with the project. What do you mean? What's so serious? We need to meet right away. Okay. Take a helicopter and I'll see you in an hour. I'll be the guy sitting at the desk in the mall Skyway. Am I exploiting my core competencies? Tall and tan and young and lovely, the girl from the back. Vermont, city on the go. <laughs> they were so excited to be in the limo, they called the driver like 26 times. <laughs> you and your date will be whisked off to Marion Jordan Junior High. The guy's office is in a branch library. Bing, bing. Children's book circle will be Madeline's rescue at 3 p.m. Nick, Lisa, how are you both? Not so great. We've got a problem. So you said, have a seat. Do you need your books renewed? Now, what's the problem? We've got to stop the project. Stop the project? Don't be ridiculous. Why? Don't be coy. We know you're developing the transport to be a weapon. You got me. I am not. How can you say <laughs> you yes. not? We've been to the future. It's a, it's, a, it's a wasteland. In the future, the world's an anarchy because of its use as a weapon. Is not. The transport. When you affect history, you affect the future. It causes a tangent. Right. It skews the future. I know that, but listen to yourself. You're saying I've affected the future. No, you will. But I haven't yet. We're not in anarchy yet. Yeah, but in 30 years, we will be. Yes, but until that time, we'll figure out a way to change it, right? Well, yes, but, but the only way to be sure is to stop now. Listen, do you want your library card revoked? Be reasonable. We're talking millions here. What we need to do is find out what our problems are and fix them. Now, I want you to get on this thing, and I want you to find out just what we no, need. No, 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 there's nothing to work on. Except your goofy office. <laughs> if you don't stop the project, I will pull my license agreement with your company. Are you threatening me? No, I'm telling you. If we don't stop now, there'll be no future for any of us, including you. You Castleton snob. <laughs> Look, just come to the future with us so you can at least see what you've done. What I have done? What did you think? Did you think we were going to use the transport to take kids on history trips? You knew full well the power of the transport. Just come with us to the future. You have to see what will happen. Forget it. I don't have a swimsuit. I've been there, and we will take care of it. You've been using the transport already? I've already built another one. Yep. And you've known about this for some time. That's right. <laughs> And we will be careful in presenting this project, but that's it. 
How can you do this after you've seen what will happen? It's easy. Not really. This project is over. Come on. Nick, this is now a government project. You no longer have any control whatsoever. Wait a minute. You read my contract. I can change anything anytime I want. No, <laughs> you read it. No, you read it. Section 57, paragraph 4. If the manufacture of any product from the outcome of this contract is deemed of value or a threat to national security, the government will appoint a project supervisor. That supervisor has total control overriding any previous control. agreements established in this document. <laughs> That's a government law, not a Gen Corp one. And who's the appointed supervisor? Harvey Corman. Why, I am, of course. <laughs> of this course. is beyond any contract. I think you're right. Jacobson, we have here a couple of corporate spies. <laughs> what? They've just informed me they're going to try to destroy the TTP project. Ooh. I informed them there was now a military operation and they could be tried as traitors. They then threatened me. Hand them over to the military attaché. I'll call down a report later. Don't you do this. Sir, you need a screw gun up here? You know how serious this is? Yes, I know. I think they give traitors life imprisonment? But you probably want to check with a lawyer on that. I don't... Get them out of my office. Let's go. You mean out of your mezzanine, sir? So, why the big circus mirror? I don't... What wall? St street? Street? Nick? Yeah? Fire your lawyer. Right. Um. You don't mind me saying so, well, that's a real cute top, ma'am. <laughs> huh? Nick! Ooh, he threw Michael Medved at him! <laughs> I never should have joined the physics club in high school. Mm. Seal off the elevator now! I'll be waiting for us downstairs. Leave me alone. The crossing guards. <laughs> they got off on the second floor. They're masters of escape. I know where the snack machines are. Come on. Come on. Do I have time for a passport photo? Probably not. You know, I wonder if she ever got her groceries in the fridge. Oh, yeah. Man. Hmm, I wonder. Great, we're off. The adventures of the average people. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, hey. definitely found. Left, 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 left. Come on, we gotta clock those windows. Let go of my bra strap. Real acid wash action. Right now the garbage truck's backing up. Even though I see them running the other way. As Gina Rollins arrives for her temp shift. <laughs> what? How? You understand they're both very dangerous people. Absolutely, shoot the kill. I've got a whole building full of people here. I want them taken. I got a whole building here of people thinking they're with you. JK, what's going on? Matt, it's time for you to decide if you're going to be one of my team players or not. <laughs> taxi! Taxi! Right here! Help! Help! Yeah. Uh, your chin's going to have to go in the trunk, sir. Go! Please, go! <laughs> Destination, please. Uh, anywhere. North. North. You don't see them. I'd like to point out that north is not a destination. Oh, boy. But a direction. Yes, and a direction we need to go, please. I think we lost them. Yeah, for now. Now what do we do? I don't know. Nick. We've got to destroy the transport. Wouldn't do any good. Why? They've copied all my software. They just make another one. Hmm? Excuse me. Hmm? Excuse me. I come from New York, New York. <laughs> New York, New York. Yeah, that's good. If you could act your way north, that would be great. New York, New York, New York. Do do? I suggest a suicide pact, personally. We've got to go back in time. Hmm? We've got to stop my past self stop. from giving the demo of the transport to Robert. won't see him anymore. Could that do? Because if he doesn't give the demo, None of this happens. Listen, Mike of the past. You are a promising young man. Bright, handsome, well-loved, culturally aware, and yet... <laughs> hey, look, man, Lonnie Anderson. <laughs> you put those down, you idiot! You stupid, repulsive... Uh, uh, hope of our nation's future? Uh, do you realize the gifts you're squandering if you stay trapped here? Like, like your band, your wonderful music. 
Whoa, that's true, robot from the future. I won't be able to make my gigs if I'm stuck up in space. Yes, your gigs, dim young version of Mike. Your music, which, if you nurture through these coming years, could bring meaning and solace to millions. What's your band's name again? Sex Factory. Yeah. And you're right, we, we totally rock. And I don't want to be stuck up in space watching no. stinky movies when I could rock the world. Right. I, I'm out of here, man. I'm, I'm quitting. Rock on. Thick as a slab of Canadian bacon. Well, bit of effort, but still, in the end, A plus, Crow. <laughs> dude. Uh, dude, yes. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm gonna go uh, check on the Gouda. See <laughs> whiz. Yep, good work, Crow. Why, thank you, Crow. Oop, sorry. Hey, hey, watch where you're going, you skinny freak. Gee whiz, sorry, Mike. I didn't mean Mike, to... that was Mike. Eddie, Eddie, hi, Eddie. Sorry, Eddie. Here I am, Eddie. Hey, where you been, midget? <laughs> uh, sorry, Eddie. Won't happen again, Eddie. I was <laughs> ashen. Okay, ashen. So, uh, oh boy. You're not Mike? Or... Mike, who the hell's Mike? I don't know no Mike's. Yeah, shush, Crow. Eddie don't know no Mike's. Hey, what are you hey, about? shut up. Shutting up, Eddie, right away. <laughs> yeah, except for my loser kid brother, Mike. Oh, oh, that idiot quit our temp jobs to go work with his band. band. Yeah, I missed out on some really great jobs. Some of them even minimum wage. Minimum wage. <laughs> uh, this would have been a great job, except for those two guys shot me up into space and that sleepy-eyed guy left. So, uh... Edward. Um, Eddie. The name's Eddie. Eddie. So, Edward, your brother's band didn't uh, do too well? Or? I'm kidding. They were doing great. great. They were already opening for Motorhead when Mike bought it. What? What? Yeah, are you kidding? He totally cacked right on stage. Hey, what are you, stupid? Oh, uh, assume I am, uh, Edward. Yeah, you know, the Cleveland Civic Center? Cleveland. You know, chicks were really digging him. They're chicks. throwing their hotel keys up oh, on the stage. Keys. A couple of them big ones caught him in the bean. He the went down, in. never got up again. Nuh -uh. Died like a mangy dog right on stage. <laughs> Man, I was really proud of him. Yeah, Excellent uh, death. Excellent. <laughs> oh, this reality is even worse for Mike. I gotta get back and warn him. Hey. Did this little pencil neck just say our reality sucked? <laughs> yeah, Eddie, you sure did, Eddie. I heard him, Eddie. <laughs> oh, now we got movies oh, trying. No. Get inside the theater, Sack. Runt, and you bring me a beer. I bring a beer, Eddie, right away, Eddie. Come with a beer now. Ow, 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 that's my sure, neck. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Thanks, Eddie. <laughs> We're never gonna get to that plane. Yes, we are. <laughs> what would MacGyver do? Get cancelled. <laughs> get a gum and turned into a yeah. nuclear device. And I'm out of gum. No, nothing short of planes crashing on the runway are gonna get these guys out of the hangar. Because in time chasers, they don't take American Express. Um, sir, would you mind crashing on the runway so my friend can get away? Thank you. You know, they use these planes for running black market maple syrup into Vermont. <laughs> this guy's swallowing condoms full of maple syrup and taking it into... <laughs> and Northwest could fit 200 people onto this plane. Hey, usually when I'm in one of these, a big chin guy is trying to kiss me. <laughs> oh, she's disguised as Lisa, our Time Life operator. Let's see, he did something with his switch when he was pawing me. Mayday, Mayday, SOS? Mayday, Mayday, no. Director's cousin, can I help you? Roland Unicorn, go ahead. Uh, my pilot just had a heart attack, and I think he's dead. Hmm? You've got to help me because I can't fly. What is your end number? I don't know. Where is it? Thanks, Eddie. <laughs> it's located straight in front of you on the instrument panel. Uh, 55201. What is your heading, and how far are you from the airport? Eddie. Uh, I'm not really sure. I think I'm close to the airport, though, and, um, it's bounced to the right, and it's bounced to the left, and, and I yeah, think I'll work the register for a while. <laughs> die. Good. Don't worry, lady, we'll talk you down. Get you guys out there. I think she's going to drop short of the runway. Hey, she's going to drop shorts on the... Hey, everybody, she's going to drop <laughs> shorts on the runway. <laughs> That's funny, Eddie. That's their special truck devoted to when women drop shorts on the runway. <laughs> <laughs> really funny, Eddie. Shorts. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> When shorts are dropped, we'll be there. <laughs> so they're the really nice evil guys. What, are they open to catch the plane? I can't help with the plane crash. I screw everything up. <laughs> it takes a chin. <laughs> hey, 
You're out of paper towels in the bathroom. You didn't count on the assistant janitor. <laughs> well, you know, I find myself wanting to suggest other places he could hit him. It's probably not what they wanted, is it? No. Nah. <laughs> How much fuel do you have on board? Oh, I don't know. I think it's on empty. Oh, which way out of the hangar? Thanks. Is your autopilot on? Um, I don't know. Uh, is it supposed to be? It's the square box to your right with the light on. Yeah, I, I think it is. Um, you hold on a minute. I think I'm going to be sick. So she wasn't crashing after all? Yeah, that bites. It's just like the grandma thing all over again. How am I supposed to trust this movie, huh? Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he farted. Hey, shut up. That was you. Sorry. <gasps> He's fighting Michael Franks. Hey, that's my favorite two by four. Give it back. Oh, I see. This is Northwest customer service. Uh -huh. <laughs> this guy's real strength is that he's totally used to getting wailed on. <laughs> ah, he's got a really strong girlfriend. That helps. Trust me. <laughs> we started it. Oh, okay. I got me all over me. Uh... Climb aboard. Time for another makeout session. It's the spruce gnat. <laughs> Don't leave for 20 minutes and Evil Co. is in shambles. I'm a team player. They crash and get eaten by a soccer team, or a baseball team, or a bridge club. I don't care. I'm going to squint the hell out of them. The other one ready? Yes, sir. Get it started. Got to get going before they time jump. You want me to ready a crew? That won't be necessary. Quit smoking. <laughs> the villain takes off in hot, well warm, tepid pursuit. <laughs> Get your hand off my leg, sir. So they travel back 30 seconds and crash into themselves. <laughs> when are we going to? Well, I figure we'll go back to the morning before I give the demo to Robertson. That ought to give us a What'd you do with my groceries? Convince yourself not to get the demo? <laughs> Wouldn't you listen to yourself? Oh, you're right. I'm stupid. <laughs> you spent your whole life on the transport. You had a different outlook on it back then. Yeah, well, I don't know. Just seeing myself in the past ought to cause enough of a tangent to, to change all of this. And he's making up physics as he goes along. What if we don't meet in the future? I guess I'll have to bike home from the grocery store. We only met because of the transport. Lisa, uh, I, uh, I uh, want to see women from other centuries. Lisa, I slipped some artichokes into your cart. No. Uh oh. Oh, his chin butt is engulfing her. Wow. Um, where's your tongue right now? Because I seem to have two. <laughs> Eddie, I bet you've done this a lot. <laughs> you bet, every day. <laughs> Um, should the sky have trees and houses and be rushing right towards us? Well, you ready to go? Sure, if you let me out of the half, Nelson. Let's go. Let's buy more plaid. Okay. <sighs> I'm willing to settle. Cool, Zuba's faces. <sighs> okay, we're here. I like pie. The track meet is starting and starting and starting and starting. Pew. Robertson, time jumped us. That was a big bug. Wow. Lisa. 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 Oh, that was a good chicken Lisa. head. Oh. Lisa. Oh, God, no. Please. Lisa. 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 Got to take my Coke out of the freezer. They're running out of alt. And their miff knots are going down. <laughs> Can't get my umbrella open. 
Sorry, I'm a little worried about lunch. It's almost 1230. <laughs> Should have opened the window before he snagged. <laughs> Eye of the tiger! Do, 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 do. Cool. Uh, he went so far back in the past, he wasn't flight certified yet. Hmm. Red skies at night! Red skies yeah. at night! Oh, oh. He's gonna land on Aeschylus's head. Oh, our Cineburst broke. Bye, Lisa. Hope everything works out. Lisa! Ah, great scenery. A crappy movie. Oh, man, I got shrinkage. At oh, wait, that's normal. <laughs> Sorry, Edward. Shut up. Get the gaff, Wally. Mister, you got out of there none too soon. Anybody else with you? Duh, what? Duh. Taking all your wax worms. <laughs> good one, Eddie. <laughs> well, this is as good as any Bond film. Gold Bond medicated powder, that is. Right. <laughs> the movie really heightens the lack of interest in the film. Yeah, I think. Huh? Hey, John Oates, no! <laughs> Michael Med dead. That's an Aluma craft. I can't do it. Can't do it, JK. Oh. The boat was moving too fast. I couldn't get a beat. I thought on. you were part of the team. That doesn't mean I'm a good shot. I mean, <laughs> guy's such a jerk. He brought a bag of zebra mussels, tossing them overboard. Hey, that moss has taken a liking to that tree. Hey, what I say about puns? To, to jam them up by. That's right. <laughs> okay. Hey. I don't see him anymore. He must have made the tree. Makes a very lucky man. So what do we do now? I'm the head of a Fortune 500 company. I can just... Well, that's in the future. And in the past. Yeah, right. I have control of the situation. Hey. You just have to get rid of this one detail. Hey, Miami Beach. <laughs> man, I wet every bit of me. Look. Oh, if only he were between a mother grizzly and her cub right now. Hmm. Let's see, I could kill me, hollow me out, and live in me. What about his grandpa? Yes. Oh, you idiot. I'm in the past. I'm in the past. Please, hmm? it's in the past. <laughs> no monologues with poopy pants, please. Yeah. So long as my past self doesn't give the demo of the transport to Robertson. This can still work. You hear that, squirrels and bunnies? <laughs> bunnies. <laughs> Where the hell's the airport? <laughs> Tonight on a very special episode of Family, Christy McNichol goes for a bike ride. Uh, it's weird with the training wheels off. You ought to get a real big sissy bar. <laughs> 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 uh, it's the hockey hair police. Uh oh, Phyllis Diller's cooking again. <laughs> Phyllis. <laughs> hey, children of the corn. Hi. Hi. Marty. Drinking fuel straight from the tap. Marty. I wasn't playing Sun City. Who's that? Uh, I don't know. Some guys from the government, from Gen Corps, they're looking for something. What thing? I don't know, but they're really serious. Check on. Let's go build the homecoming float. Had to finish my column. Mabel Torgerson was the guest of the Alvin Johnsons on Thursday night. Juice and lemon bars were served. Lauren Tweez in Absence of Malice. Lisa, I know I'm on my way to blind grandmother. No, we're dumping it. Oh, for what? Plane crashed over Lake Bonazine. Crashed anyone killed? Just came over the box. Maybe it was the grandmother. Just get over there. Hey, wait a minute. How come I'm getting this? Daddy. Jeff and Terry are on assignment. If it is the grandma, get the pictures. Now those dead grandma pictures, they bring in the readers.
I own 27 minutes. It's pretty good. <laughs> Master of disguise. So is this pre-Fontaine or post-Fontaine? Fellas like to buy some maple syrup? Well, if he's gonna run, he better put Vaseline all over his nipples. Great, I'm gonna buy some liver snaps and a hosta. I've always wanted a tan, Hugo. Wait, the clutch kind of sticks and one door doesn't close and you gotta jiggle it to get it into reverse. Whoa, yeah, I did that on my first driver's test. I was still kind of drunk from the night before. <laughs> we also raise llamas if you'd like to pet a llama. You drive like a Kennedy, you idiot. <laughs> I don't drive. You got a dead alien in the attic. Okay. Aha! So it's bicycles then, eh? We accept your choice of vehicle. On guard! This is a very healthy chase, please. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll just give you a warning this time. <laughs> Oh, a K car. Come right through, ma'am. He's doing caricatures of the victims. Wow. Any survivors? Are you kidding? We'll be lucky if we get dental records. How many were on board? Yeah, it looks like just one. Any idea how old? Can you tell how stale bread is after it's been toasted? <laughs> Whoa. Any make on the plane? Yeah. Hey, wait a minute. Who are you? I'm with the banner. My name is Lisa Henson. And I'm a hard-boiled reporter. Well, from the numbers we got, it looks like it belongs to uh, Nick Miller. It came out from that airport across the lake. Yeah, she's a really good actress. Yeah, you're right, Eddie. Hey, <laughs> shut up. She is not. Oh, you're right. You're <laughs> kidding. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, the, the cameraman's shy. Come on, honey. You can get closer. Come on. That's millionaire. Nick, really, this is the most incredible thing. Great. So what's the next step? Well, like I said, I'm going to go over the heads of my bosses and take this directly to J.K. Roberts. When? Well, hmm? I'll be back with Mr. Robertson at, um... Dark 30. 4 p.m. Is that okay? Fine. I'll be ready. Great. Great. Oh, and Nick, in the meantime, don't tell anyone about this, and I mean anyone. Trust me on this, okay? All right. Great. We are going to be very rich. <laughs> When really short guys try to walk. Oh yeah, the throaty roar of a K car. <laughs> they somehow gave her plaid theme music. Mr. Blackwell put her on his please kill list. <laughs> All right, we finally gonna see some horizontal rumba or what? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Lisa? Nick. I shaved this morning and got a Nick. How are you? Ow! You're all right. Get up here. Yeah. Golly, Edward. He's not heard yet. Okay. okay. He's fine. I work for the banner in town now. I was called to your not grandmother. My arms off, Eddie. Her plane crashed over by the lake. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> it exploded on impact. I'm sorry. I thought you would have heard by now. Lisa, my grandparents died when you and I were kids. That's right. But you called the paper. I was just trying to get someone to come out and take a look at this. The plane was registered to you. It was one of your planes. But Lisa, I only own... One jar of mustard. One plane. <laughs> Registration numbers N5058C. That's right. <laughs> we listen now to the Jefferson Middle School String Quartet. Yep, Grandma came back from the dead, built a duplicate plane, and crashed it. <laughs> and what's going on? It's time, Chase. We need to take a little trip. We need to go out for some Amish fudge. That'd be nice. Walking on broken glass. Walking on, walking on. What is he at the pound? Gzz, gzz, gzz. 
Francisco kid Woo! was a friend of mine. <laughs> it's really good, Eddie. You would like that, <laughs> wouldn't <War>. you? <laughs> Uh, remember when everyone got the Nick Miller haircut and started wearing Castleton t-shirts? <laughs> Miss the barn dance. Oh, where the hell is my plan? <laughs> well, Nick. <laughs> it seems you forgot you were in the past. The varmint. Say you like Northwest. Go ahead. You're a drug dealer. You're a drug dealer. That's it, that's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's funny. Good. No way you can afford all this stuff on a teacher's salary. Electronics, radar. Look, Marty, I don't know how to tell you this, you know, but we got a serious problem right here. Well, tell me anything. Well, gentlemen, say goodbye to this sent you. Look, 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 leave Marty here. He doesn't know what's going on. Sorry. He knows enough to disrupt your past self. You're gonna kill us. I'm gonna make you a part of history. Oh, is that a sexual overture of some kind? Look at that. Too many sevens in that date. I'm, I'm going out for a smoke. <laughs> do that, Eddie. <laughs> Enjoy. You do that. Oh, my friends, driving low riders. Morty! Hey, Morty, let's do lunch, Morty! Wow, the present is amazing. That was absolutely incredible. Morty! It's me, your cousin Saul. Where's the phone? Marty! Let's get some blintzes, Marty! Marty fuel will go up. Marty! Oh, bacon grease. Who you call? You okay there, Please. Eddie? <laughs> Slow as they are, they should have a dental record matched for an ID by now. I have got a demo with Jen Gordon. Two hours. And he's probably out getting drunk somewhere. <sighs> yes, this is Lisa Hansen of the Banner. We're doing a story on the plane crash. I was wondering if you had an ID on the pilot yet. Yes, with the banners. It was the Chopper News. Yeah, that's me. No, this isn't a joke. Myrtle Johnson didn't serve lemon bars? <gasps> you sure? I should have checked my sources. Ah. Must be. Thank you. Hey, watch. The door's going to hit her in the can when he comes in. <laughs> That'll be great. Huh? I don't know where he is. Well? The person they identified as being killed in the plane crash was Daryl Dragon. Was Lisa Hansen of the band. Oh, well, that's a big loss. <laughs> Well, then fall down. Hey, the New England Patriots! <laughs> Someday a lot of puffy old losers with no lives will reenact this battle, men. You're going into battle in that outfit? Ted Nugent's family reunion. <laughs> Just try to go, Harry. We're not watching. Dr. Demento, Patriot. <laughs> oh, good thing the Minutemen built a runway. <laughs> General Washington's plane has landed. You are going to the company picnic, damn it. Listen, I understand limits, man. But this has to be done to wipe the slate clean. They'll just be unaccounted war dead here. No, I know. But I can't be a part of it. I'll wait back at the transport That's if you want me idea. to. But... Sorry, JK. That's all right. I can handle this myself. I'll see you back at the transport in a minute. Okay. Okay. There goes a damn good weenie. Oh, Matt? Hmm? I changed my mind. You're fired. He's still a better boss than the Sunbeam guy. Now, what were we talking about? Ah, oh, yes, history. Put that weapon down! Uh, huzzah, I think. I'm not sure. <laughs> Whoa, Minutemen! Correction, they are pissed Minutemen! Lisa? I am not believing this. I told them the truth, Robertson. The truth? They know you're a spy working for the British, and they aren't letting you out of this fort. Oh. Don't play games with your life, Nick. This is an Uzi. You're outgunned. God's sake, give him fire! So, so history is just circling the drain at this point, I yep. guess. <laughs> and so, children, the British defeated us because they were all helping this lunkhead who whizzed history down his leg. Where are they going? Come back! 
I don't think they've ever seen an Uzi. No place to run. Johnny, CEO, CFO, sold separately. <laughs> My God, ISO 9001 certification is a license to kill. We we're getting poisoned sumac. We. <laughs> The seven ammo clips of highly effective people. Whoa! Oh, run. Let's go. Ow, ow. Yeah, right. Eddie, help. Hey. <laughs> hey, look at this mess from last night. I thought I told you to clean this up. Well, gee, Eddie, I, I did, Eddie, but, but, but these are just from a couple of minutes ago, don't you remember? Hey, shut up. <laughs> okay, I'm shutting up right away, Eddie, right away. Thanks, sure, Eddie. Uh, servo? <laughs> yeah. Edward, I'm going to rinse out a few things. I, I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get that guy. Uh, neither do I, Eddie. I don't you get like him at all. him? I don't understand him. Greetings, young Mike. Uh, my name is Crow, and I've come from the future to help you change your miserable dead-end life. Hey. Robot from the future, there's another one of you guys to see you. <coughs> hey, me. Oh, hey, me. Uh, can you hang on a second? So, anyway, Mike, that's why I think... Oh, no, we, we screwed something up royal, didn't we? Well, you screwed something up royal. Whoa, really? How do you know it's not you who screwed it up? Uh, look, I'm from about a half hour into your future. I think I know a little bit more about what the heck is going on than you do. Listen, Mr. Future Pants. Oh. If I steer Mike away from a career of bad jobs, he'll never end up stranded in time and space. Well, listen, Mr. Half Hour Ago Doof. If you do, Mike will end up bludgeoned in a pool of his own blood. Oh, yeah? Uh, uh, what are you guys talking about? Hey, Mike, this doesn't concern you, okay? Look, don't change Mike's future or he dies, okay? Oh, I see. Uh, yeah, it's about time. Ooh, I gotta get back. Man, was I a jerk a half hour ago. Oh, um, Mike, hi. Forget what I was saying. Uh, forget your band. It's going nowhere. Stick to a life of menial, low-paying jobs, okay? That's cool. Good, thanks. Well, so much for the bravery of our forefathers. Oh, we need an army. Does everyone have corn dodgers and pemmican? <laughs> so they were playing splatball one day and they just decided to make a movie. A Pillsbury corporate retreat goes bad. <laughs> You're running out of cover, Nikki! Actually, he's got the whole North American wilderness. <laughs> no cover. By the way, did I thank you yet? I think he was the Tony Danza of his time. You can see a character's eye boogers. You're too close. Huh? Where's your spy, man? Ready? Hold your muskets. Have your back, Mike. Up in Jar Rangers! I don't know how to downsize these people. No, no, that guy's just a pirate. I mean. <laughs> Or my grandma's hat. <laughs> what do you think? Hey, karate instructors. <laughs> I'm this for history. They all borrowed their wives' blouses for this movie. <laughs> <laughs> Whose woods these are? I have no clue. Damn child safety lock. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> you guys all right? Oh, man, who is this ugly jerk? Thanks. I'm welcome. Listen, you've got the demo. Destroy the transport, I know. You know? Sure, I got a transport, too. Are you? Seeing the seam in the split screen? All right. Lisa? Oh, my God, it's good to see you. Look, I don't like you, and I don't like you either. That poor. Um, well, I, uh, uh, grope everyone, I guess. Uh, we better... Get some cover. We gotta stop Robertson before he gets to that transport. Wait a minute, what about Lisa? She's ditching us! What about her? Well, you and her... Me and her, we... Uh... Oh, yeah, she discovered your plane crash. Uh, I know that she was on the plane with you. Yeah, I know, but you two... We, uh... What are you trying to say? Oh, he's trying to ask himself out. It's cute. It's not important. Well, come on, then. God, my butt looks weird in those pants. Oh. Let's get to Barney's for a new shirt. 
You guys see the game last night? I, I mean, liberty! <laughs> Never chase a wounded executive into the woods. I don't know. Man, our forefathers were dumpy. <laughs> What's going to become of Gen Corp? <laughs> I'm going to facilitate connectivity. <laughs> hey, the colonials are coming! They're coming the colonials! Our young nation's first spaz attack. Martin, Martin, come on, come on. Jesus, relax, will you, okay? Shh. Come on. Come into the light. It's crazy. Guns being it's shot. Crazy. You go put the guns and the Uzis and the bullets flying at your head. That's what you want. And you know, I'll be right over here, relaxing. You done? Come back. Get me. Beautiful. Bye. 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 Screw the revolution. Run! So there was a lot of general milling around in the Revolutionary yeah. War. <laughs> For Castleton. Look, there goes Robertson. Avant and quit my sight, young executive. Oh, if he makes it to his transport, this is all for nothing. Excuse me, General. I'm a lieutenant. Oh, ow! Oh, what are you... General Dung Beetle. <laughs> I think they oversold the weather at Valley Forge. It's a little chilly is all. Trevor threw wet leaves on the fire. They got big plastic things holding their feet together. I'm not back. Drop Marty off in the present. Here's some pre-digested food for you. What is kiss? Yeah! You just slip some microfiche in her mouth. Well, police hijacking. Yeah, they study this battle at military colleges. Well, unaccredited military colleges and malls next to hair salons. <laughs> right. Whatever. Well, I suppose. <laughs> All their bags say le bag on them. <laughs> I got to get to that SARSEP meeting. He's enjoying the new active lifestyle with his new hair. See if I can get Tetris on this. Ooh. Oh, oh, I hope he's wearing a cup. Yeah. So right now they are breathing the air around Tom Paine, technically. Yeah. yeah. So, Dylan. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Whoopee! Due to the unusually high volume of time transfers, you're... Huh, and it's all over. Good. Let's, uh... <laughs> wow. <laughs> But I chased you in a horse, I'm supposed to win. Oh, God. God. There's a man on the wing of the plane. Yeah. You wanna fly? Let's fly! I got a million of them! Ha -cha -cha -cha. Oh, this is just like the end of Mahogany. Huh. Yay! Oh, I'm supposed to be sad. Yeah. <laughs> Screenplay by Nigel Calder and Jim Varney. <laughs> Aha! Unlucky for you, I secrete pine tar from my hand. I haven't the strength or the screen presence to pull this off. Look, he doesn't want you in there. Accept it. <laughs> oh, why am I doing that? That's my hand. Oh. Check your flaps before taking off! Number 10, 9, 8, 7. Hey, is that a Glock? A 7, 6, 5, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, Thanks, Stephen Hawkins. 0, 4, 3, 2, 1. Is it 3, 2, 1, 2, one. <laughs> Whatever. Ooh. Well, better start drinking my urine. If someone garnished him with parsley. <laughs> That's nice. nice. Oh, if I could only fart, I'd feel better. Oh. Forty-seven Keebler elves were killed today when a light plane plunged into their tree. E.L. Fudge remains in critical condition. <laughs> 
must soil butt of my pants. Is um is is he Kirok now? Is that how that works? Mm, I think so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, 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 no. Bobby, don't show his oh, butt. Please. Come on. Why? Damn tree hugger. <laughs> well, maybe he'll be torn apart by Ewoks. Oh, he's trying to get honey like poo. Oh, he's like poo, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so what, did the tree contribute money to the film? Why are they showing this? <laughs> he's climbing an ant. Boom, hum, get off me. Oh, I see. It's man against machine. Come on, machine. Go, machine, go, machine, 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 go, machine, go, machine. Go, go, go. Hey, machine. <laughs> huh? oh. Oh. Benjamin Franklin's kite is up there. George Washington is trying to chop the tree down to make wooden teeth. Thomas Jefferson is down there making time with a slave. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, movie, but uh, we'd like to move on, please. Spielberg stole that bit for Jurassic Park. He should use his chin as a piton. He could. Gary (laughs) Strug. Oh, good. He's all stained again. Why didn't the movie just cover him in cat vomit? Yuck, he's scooting. Hey, Nick, there was a stairs on the other side of the tree. I have a severe injury to my sleeve. Oh, man, it's my boss. Oh, man, it's that guy from (laughs) R&D. Oh, Nick. I have an aileron up my... Well, anyway... You should have just left this one alone, son. Sorry, Dad. At least it'd still be alive. You'd be a millionaire now. The both of you could have lived to a ripe old age and escaped to some simpler time in the past. It never would have affected you. You know, I wish Uncooked Liver had been the star of this movie. You still don't get it, do you? Kevin Spacey was Kaiser Soze. It would have it would have affected the rest of the world. Would have affected. We're all connected, you fool. <laughs> you, me, Nipsey Russell, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, Chesty Morgan. Everything. Connect me to this. Ah! Oh, well, thank you, movie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> appreciate it. He died as he lived, mud-stained and splaying. <laughs> He's dead, but don't worry. They have a spare. Ugh. And now, they make love. A giant figure print! Run! <laughs> There's the movie's funders. Come to pull the plug. <laughs> Later in the prom, I took Sally to the airport and showed her the tarmac. Ooh, ow. Jump back! Kiss myself. Oh, look is here. <laughs> I think it snapped in half if it went over a hill. Lucky you. I'll be right back. Michael Keaton. <laughs> Damn good prom, honey. <laughs> Nick. <laughs> Nick. 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 I'd like to introduce you to J.K. Robertson. Mr. Robertson, this is Nick Miller, the next Edison. Oh, now wait a minute. That's a bit much. No, I don't think so. J.K., wait till you get a load of this. Nick, why don't you take it from here? Okay. Mr. Robertson. Are you trying to seduce me? (laughs) Can I call you J.K.? Fine. Can I call you Dickweed? J.K., we've been watching your television commercials for years, and, well, frankly, it's time for a change. What? Nick, stay with me on this one, Matt. Oh. We'd like to present you with a brand new marketing idea. Marty, she ready? She's ready. Let's bring her out. Thank you, Chuckle Hut Middle Act, who thought this was his big break. J.K.? I'd like to present you with some soiled pants. With Gilda Heinz, star of the new GenCore television commercials. Wow. 80 years old and a world-class skydiver. 80? We see her everywhere, across the entire logo. What? All of your t-shirts, all of your merchandise. What the hell's going on here? What's <laughs> the matter? You loved this idea five hours ago. You brought me up here for this. No, sir. No, sir. This plane, this plane can travel through time. 
<laughs> you just wait until you see all this electronic equipment. Boy, hey, don't you guys want to see your job? And you're fired. Find your own ride back to the city. Hey, Nick, what the hell are you doing to me? I should have gone with a skydiving dog, right? JK, I'm telling you, you like this. Good. But you gotta understand, this thing. I, we, you, I'm telling you. I'm Batman. <laughs> oh, oh, terrible gas today. Uh, you had the misfortune of running into me. I'm a life wrecking idiot. <laughs> At least I didn't shoot you this time. Well, that's true. <laughs> we crawl into a saltine box to do the ADR. <laughs> Andrew Wyeth's Pink Boy on Tarmac. My name is Nick. No, no, no. My name is Stephanie, and I am a 17 year old girl. And. <laughs> so, eight, five and a quarter inch floppies hold the keys to time travel. <laughs> oh. You sure you want to do this? Yes. Delete copies of film? Yes. Delete memory of film for mankind's consciousness? Yes. yes. Well, he retains the knowledge, he should kill himself. Mm -hmm. Right? So, what did I ever see in these things? Jeez. Wow, even declared war on a surge protector. Oh. Mm -hmm. ah, it's been a long week. Time for a big bowl of Dijonais. Please eat me! <laughs> Maple syrup, three for a dollar. Oh, hell, just take it. It's free. We got so much of it. I'll put these in a Ziploc, let them get brown in my fridge. Hmm. These aren't plaid. Yes. Yes, I do need kale. Was Kitaro playing in the dairy case? Sail on Romaine lettuce. Ah, well, this is a nice shot. I like this better than the other ones. This is good. Yeah. We serve a delicious brunch every Sunday. <laughs> oh, that's... Who's playing the chamber pot? <laughs> Matthew Paul. Oh, Pink Boy. Yeah, Pink Boy. Pink Boy, right. George Woodard is J.K. Robertson. This was written? I don't think so. Walking on, walking on, walking on broken glass. Ow, 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 ow. Because we're walking on broken glass, you see? Yeah, you should probably Ooh. stop doing that then. Ow. Yeah. Ow. It hurts. Woo. Wee. Demo button on little keyboard hit by. Tonight, Mel Tillis plays at the Sasahara Sasa Lounge. <laughs> Executive parents, uh, I mean producers. Wow, look at that. What a great name. Heather Killing Beck. <laughs> I'd rather have it be Heather Killing Paula Cole. <laughs> <laughs> Boomer. I have a feeling Craig Boomer Buzzell is the only one who calls himself Boomer. <laughs> now, by the way, speaking of the Revolutionary War and all that, what, whatever happened to that whole deal with the uh, Spanish? Weren't they supposed to take over? Oh, yeah. You know what? I think they ended up getting molten gold poured down their throats. It just, it just didn't work out. Shame, really. Spaniards, though. You know. Whizzed it down their legs, huh? Yep. Mm -hmm. Cortez. Mm -hmm. oh. Good evening. I'm Observer. <laughs> Tomorrow night at 7, she's a Wiccan. Okay. She's a nun. Hmm. Can two sisters share an apartment together? Tomorrow night, find out on... Which is which? <laughs> but coming up next, several neighborhood kittens are alarmed by very loud noises. That's coming up next on Observer Eyewitness News. Friend guy, get your pale butt oh. over here. Ah, uh, yes, Pearl, I'll be with you in a moment. Oh, boy. Trouble. <laughs> Isn't that funny, Mike? Uh, sometimes <laughs> I use my nearly omnipotent powers just to have a little giggle. Because yeah. I think you have to laugh every once in a while, even if it's just Friend a kind guy, of. Friend guy, are you be trying right. to say for something? Yeah. Hot too, man. Anyway, I hope that I've made you laugh, Mike. Uh, sure that I did. Huh. Hmm. Oh, I <laughs> think I did. Oh, what dope. Wish I could see your faces in there. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> could have come across just as an idiot, I suppose. Yeah. Oh. Gosh, I'd be mortified. Hmm? Uh, anyway, I, I, I'm sorry, Mike. This was ridiculous. I, uh, goodbye. 
Stupid, stupid. Wow. Ooh, it's pretty insecure. Isn't Weird, it? man. Yeah, I always thought "Witch is Witch" sounds good. I might have to check that out. Sounds like I don't know. Must see TV. Damn it, I must see it. I must. <laughs> So, so, getting back to the movie, who do they think this would appeal to? Anyway, elderly squirrels? Or People without heads? Toadstools? Clumps of dirt, maybe? Yeah, barber poles? Mm-hmm. And, uh, coffee tables, perhaps? Little bits of material that break off plastic trays? And used know. napkins? Uh, Italians, maybe? Bro! What? what? A little off the point there. Oh, oh I'm sorry, I see what you're saying. Uh, Germans? No, maybe? see, what? no. What? They are special thanking the hell out of these people, huh? <laughs> All these people bear some responsibility, you know. Which means I really, really hate the citizens and officials of Rutland, Vermont. I'm not kidding, Mike. I never liked the citizens and officials of stupid Rutland, Vermont. This is just a nail in the coffin as far as I'm concerned. Go to hell, citizens and officials of Rutland, Vermont. Filmed in Vermont, the other smaller Wisconsin. This is nasty. Calm down. Boy, what a day, huh? Uh, yeah, whatever. Say, Mike, if there was a guy named Gilligan and he wanted to name an island after himself, and he did, and then we were here on it, what would we be here on? <laughs> no. No, 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 what do you mean, no? I Just no, I'm sorry. Well, hey, little buddy. Shh, quiet, <laughs> man, he didn't say it yet. Oh, sorry. Now, well, Mike, come on. If we were here on that island, what would we be here on? Come on. Just no, I'm sorry, but no. Oh, well. Don't, now what? Doesn't he have to say it? I mean, of course he has to say it. It's not real unless he says it. I mean, I know you're right. I mean, I mean, what would happen if he didn't say it and we just went ahead anyway? I mean, oh no, no, no! I'm not suggesting that. Yeah, I mean, there's oh. nothing we can do about it. Those are the rules. Well, sorry, hey, little, but no. Sorry. Shh. So, how was the movie? Oh, ooh, it hurt. It hurt a lot. Oh, good, good. Yeah, you know, in general, the movies do hurt quite a bit, actually. Honestly. You know, Mike, that is so great to hear, because to tell you the truth, I don't get a lot of direct feedback, mm-hmm. so so thank you. That means no, a lot. You're welcome. You know, I'm just telling the truth. Hmm. Hey, Crow went back in time. Really? Yeah, yeah. He went back to Wisconsin in 1985 to try to talk me out of the temp job that put me in your evil clutches. <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> he succeeded, actually. And then another crow had to go back and try to talk that crow out of talking me out of taking the job. It was a big mess, but we got it mm. all. Okay. So what <sighs> happened to the other crow? What's that? Well, think about it. Somewhere there's a spare crow running around in Wisconsin in 1985, right? No, I mean, well, Uh, no. (laughs) Well, yeah, ooh. Well, cheese ain't gonna cut itself, huh? Dude. Yeah. for you to decide if you're going to be one of my team players. 